Hi, I'm Alicia from Data School Cohort 21. I'm going to show you how to make a dot strip plot. This chart type is great to use where an item's position in an ordered list is more important than its absolute or relative value, or to show values in a data set and how often they occur. Dots placed in an order on a strip are a space efficient method of laying out ranks across multiple categories. You'll notice that a dot strip plot is the first step before creating a jitter. As it is super simple, let's jump into Tableau and get started. For the purposes of this visualization, I'll be using the sample Superstore dataset to which I've connected already. We may want to create a dot strip plot to look at sales over time across subcategories. So let's start by dragging sales from the data pane to columns. Secondly, we want to look at this over time. So if we hover over order date and right click this before we drag it to rows, the drop field option pops out, which allows you to select whether it's a date part or it's a continuous date. In this instance, we want to look at months. So we can select the months at the top this creates a line chart at first, and we can change the marks on this card by clicking the drop down, which takes you to circle. Let's also change this to entire view, which will make it easy for us to view. So far, we've got our very basic view. We do, however, want to look at this by subcategory. To turn it into a dot plot, we simply have to take subcategory, which you can open up as it's hiding under the product hierarchy, and drag it to details. What I like to do to tidy up my dot plots is add some formatting. So what you can do is select format, and then go to lines. We want to add some grid lines to separate out the months in this case. So what we can do is go to rows and turn grid lines on. I'll give this a light gray color. That's better. I may also want to add an axis ruler to both of my axes. So I can do this by selecting sheet and again, picking a color. I don't, however, want the column grid lines at the back. So if I go to columns, I can select none. The next part would be to increase the size of the circles. So on the marks card, you can select size and drag them to make it bigger. I think that's about the right size for me. However, now we can see that the circles are overlapping. So the best thing to do would be to make sure we turn down the opacity by selecting color and dragging this down. Make sure it's reasonable so you can still see most of the marks. Finally, I like to give my dot plot that slight bit of extra analysis by clicking on the analytics tab at the top by the data pane. I go to average line and I drag this to cell. And now we can see the average for each month by sales. So we can see in December, accessories was achieving beyond its average. And there you have it. That's how you create a simple dot plot. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you now feel confident to make a dot strip plot yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love How to Build a Jitter Plot by my colleague Ross. Click the link on the screen to watch it next. Thank you.